What's up YouTube, back with another video, just changing some bass and taps on this one, nice easy job, straightforward, not altering any pipe work, just show you how it's done, thanks for watching. Right, so we've got a pair of bass and taps to change over on this one. Sopping them over for some Bristam ones. The client's choice. To match up with the uh, bath taps they've already got. Very similar. Nice. Gonna be using the Nerad Tapex kit. I've only had this a few weeks. Still not sure it's worth its money yet, but we'll find out. So I've isolated the water. Just undoing the speed fit hand tight tap connectors which are on this one. Then I'm going to disconnect it from this speed fit coupling which to give me a bit more room. That's left me with just the back nut of the tap using the Nerad Tapex spanner. Just undo that off. Easy. Now it's on tight, just spin it off with my fingers. That cobweb's doing my head in. Now these have got some sort of like rubber uh, centralizing washers. That's probably a posh word for it, but they seem pretty cool to be fair. Just hold the tap in the middle of the hole because obviously the holes are excessively big on a lot of basins. Clean it off with a big wipe. Any lime scale which is under there. Thread your new tap through the hole. Now on this I've got a rubber washer in my hand, a metal washer and the brass back nut. Again using the tap kit to tighten this up. No issues. Look at that strength. That's the cold done, now we're onto the hot. Exact same method. But now we're doing the opposite, putting it back together again. In plumbing, a lot of the jobs you do, you have to do blind. Hence why now I'm staring at the camera, pulling stupid faces. Get that water back on. Checking for leaks now. This is the most important thing of the job. Just giving everyone a good feel. Looking at your fingers afterwards. And obviously make sure they work. Anyway, thanks for watching guys. 